Hi everyone, my name is Glenda with SureFit Designs. Let's have some fun today. I'm going to show you how to design the pajama or lounge style of pant. And what that means is that it doesn't have a side seam. Now in the SureFit Designs fitting system, we have a number of different kits. There's the pant kit, the dress kit, the shirt kit, and the children's kit. And it's in the children's kit that you're actually going to find the instructions for designing the pant without a side seam. It's found on page 18. And you'll say, children's kit? Why would I use that? I'm an adult. Well, designing for a child is pretty much the same as designing for an adult when you realize that a pant pattern is a pant pattern or a bodice pattern is a bodice pattern. So it's a very simple matter of taking the information and applying it onto your adult patterns. So the first thing that you need to do is draw off your SureFit Designs pants pattern. And um, for those of you not familiar with SureFit Designs, it's a fitting system whereby you take your body measurements and apply them onto a master pattern that's been graded according to your body measurements. So when you end up connecting your dots together, the result is a pattern that reflects your body shape and size. Now, with the pants pattern, once it's done, you will end up with approximately two inches of ease in your low hip area. And this is also called a strip down pattern, meaning that it doesn't have any seam allowances on it. So as we go along in the design, I'll be showing you how to add seam allowances. All right, well, let's assume that you have already drawn your pant front and the pant back. And what you'll want to do for the pajama pant is connect them together at your fullest hip circumference. So I'm lining these up and I'm making sure that the grain lines are absolutely 100% parallel. And of course, if you're working on a grain board, that's really easy to do. And if you're just working on a flat surface, simply measure in between the grain lines and make sure that they are absolutely parallel and then just tape your patterns together. And what you're going to see is that you've now got one piece here, and we're going to draw this off one more time. And that's actually going to show you your finished pattern when you're done. Now you'll notice that the leg has gotten substantially wider, and it does need to because this tapering all goes away. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the hip line. In this hip line, you only have two inches of ease. If you want to have a little bit more ease because this really is for a pair of pajamas and you like lots of comfort, you can spread your hip line apart. And let's say you spread it apart one inch. Well, you'd have an inch extra on this side and an inch extra inch extra on the other side. So if you add that plus the two that is already given in the pattern, now you've got four inches of ease. And you may need that in a woven fabric. If you're working with a knit fabric, well, there's a good chance you likely won't need any more because the knit is going to stretch. All right, now we're ready to copy this pattern out. We're going to put up a piece of tracing vellum and we're going to pretend that I've already baked the cake and I've drawn this off in red for you so that you can really see the distinctive difference between that and the blue outline underneath. Now, when you're copying off your pattern uh, in the finished format, you need to make a couple of decisions. And what the decisions are is what you're going to do at the hemline. Will it be a long pant? Um, coming down to your ankle or do you want to crop the pant and cut bring it right underneath your knee perhaps put a casing in there and a little drawstring and what do you want to do at the waist edge on these pants I have actually added a one inch wide piece of elastic and so when you're adding your elastic you need to know how wide your elastic is so that you can build up the waist edge with a casing to allow for the width of the elastic. So it's two times the width of the elastic, and in this case I added an eighth inch more just for the turn of the cloth and to go over top of the elastic and allow me just a little bit to do my zigzagging when I finished it off on the inside. One other thing that I would like to mention about this is that this waistline does need to pull up over top of the widest part of your hips. So let's say that you are a diamond shaped hip person and you're quite small in your waist in relationship to a fairly full larger hip. 
If that's the case, then you may need to straighten your crotch lines and come straight up like this to allow enough pull-on space at that waistline to get up over top of your hips. Again, if you're working in a knit, that's likely not going to be a consideration. Now, you'll notice I put a little notch there that's indicating the side seam so that when I pin and quarter the elastic, I'll have that indicator. And you'll also notice that I've added on seam allowances. With SureFit Designs, it's very easy to add on seam allowances with this designing stylus. It's a tool that's got all of your body curves on it, hip curves, crotch curves, neckline, armholes, and these slots right here are for seam allowances all you're going to do is place that designing stylus into the lines that you have previously drawn and draw through the slot that is closest to the outside edge of the stylus and that will add on the appropriate 5 8 inch seam allowance. And then of course at the hemline I used that and created the casing that is at the bottom. So this is one of the quickest and simplest pairs of pants to make. I'll tell you, all up this took me about an hour to sew. It's so fun and simple. You've got two basic seams that you serge, the inseam and the uh, crotch line, and then you finish off the casing at the top and the casing at the bottom and you're done. So for this and other quick and simple projects with SureFit Designs, please make sure that you go to the SureFit Designs Learning Center. There's an article library and a video library to give you all kinds of information about working with the SureFit Designs fitting system.